Hey, what's up everyone? Joker here from Joker Against the World. Give me all the love I know you have. Click that like, click that subscribe button. But for now, let's just get into the video. Ali, what do you say to the comments? Your husband is going to upgrade real soon. You got a short shelf life. Well, I would say that, well, first of all, I'm not an expired glass of milk, like chill out. But a lot of people have these comments and they don't understand that people that are happily married, a masculine husband and a feminine wife, there's this thing called wife goggles. So if you ever got around to keeping a man long term, he would find you more attractive over time. I know it's hard to believe, but that's why you got to go out and do it before you speak on it. Just to provide a little bit of context, she chose to be a stay at home wife. Obviously, in today's society, not everyone can afford to do that. In most cases, in most homes, two incomes are just needed. But she has the means to do that, and she chose to do that. Obviously, also in today's age, that mindset got a lot of friction. And she is right about one thing. The most hateful comments she got and the most hateful comments she will get in the future are from women that cannot even find a boyfriend. Allie, what is this? The 1950s? No, it's 2022, and I get this point a lot, this dumb argument. By the way, probably for somebody who wasn't even in that era, the difference between 2022 and 1950 is that in 1950, you were prescribed to be a housewife. In 2022, you get to choose, but guess what? Only like a handful of women even get the option because they plan their lives accordingly. This is oftentimes a projection trying to make it seem like we're, we're so awful and oppressed. I don't think so. I get everything I want. I just get it through my husband. Yeah, so obviously in today's age, if you choose to be a wife, you're going back into the 50s. We all know how the feminist works. You have every right at equality and to make your own choices as long as your choices are going to be like ours. You need to forget about being in a long-term relationship. You need to go through hookup culture. And obviously when you're in your 40s, cry about you not being able to find a good man. But let's take a look at one of the most decent comments she got. Mom to four, I make more money than my husband, we equally clean the house, he cooks, it's 2022, not the 50s. Okay, first of all, no one cares about how much money you make, that's obviously the most important thing to you, that's why you chose to brag about it, and you're trying to claim that you're in a partnership, everything is equal in your house, 50-50, but then again, you and your husband clean the house while he's doing the cooking. If it's equal and you both clean the house, why are not both cooking? If he's cooking, you should do the dishes. If he's cleaning the house, you should do the laundry. See how that works? Since you don't, I'm not just going to take your word for it when you say you're married. Ali, what do you say to the women that say, my husband isn't my boss. There is no need to be submissive. You're a team. I understand where they're coming from, but these same women don't understand that oftentimes they'll put their husbands on the back burner for like an actual boss in real life that they have to submit to. And they constantly ask their husbands to modify their lives for that. Meanwhile, the dude is forgotten. He's absolutely sexless and she's feeding him out of the microwave. That's the problem. If you can work and love your man equally, you want to talk about equalism, right? If you can do that, then good. But most women can't. Most women can't even push the power button on an air fryer. Yeah, I would argue that most women today don't know what an air fryer is. And unfortunately, she is absolutely right. Most women today will rather call some stranger boss and refuse to call a man they know husband. Just because they feel like having a husband is dragging them down. And let's be honest, most women that talk about having a job or having a career, they actually mean having a job. Flipping burgers from 9 to 5, it's somehow empowering. It's somehow more empowering than having a man that is going to have your back. But now I need to address this comment. Me and my wife just had a talk that she makes her boss cookies on bad days. But yet says nothing is going on and it's cause she wants her boss is happy. F my life. Yeah, absolutely. F your life. Grow up her and leave that relationship. When is the last time she made you cookies? She's too busy for doing that, right? Sometimes we need to take the L, except that it's our fault because we were not able to tell our own wives no or no, you're not doing that. Move on, become better, and find someone else that deserves the time and the love we put in that relationship. I'm just trying to address a lot of fear because I hear that argument a lot. Well, if you're just a wife, you're going to lose yourself. But if we keep feeding women this narrative, like they're going to eat it up and they're, they're going to buy it. But if you have a man who can protect, provide, and cherish you, it's like no, it's a no-brainer. Of course, you're going to go ahead and pursue something like that. But women are always thinking, oh, I, I lose something in a marriage. I lose something in a marriage. I'm vulnerable. I don't think so. I think men take the bigger risk in assuming all of the responsibility for finances within a marriage. If you look at the divorce statistics, it's, it's pretty cut and dry. So like, uh, sometimes I hear 
You know, what happens if your husband leaves you for someone younger? I actually don't worry about that because I know how the family courts are. I, it's more so the fact that like my women, women's satisfaction in marriage, we have a lot more autonomy over that than we think because mm-hmm. we end up leaving most of the time. I think 80% of the time women mm-hmm. are the ones causing it's, a divorce. It's, it's, it's 90% of your college educated. 80% of divorces are filed by women, 90% if they have a higher education. Considering that women make the 65% of college graduates, why would anyone still want to get married is beyond me. And you even heard this young lady. She knows all about how the court of law work, and she's not worried. And that's why the divorce rates are that high. Women will leave their marriages because they think the grass is greener on the other side, and of course they know that they're going to take their husbands for everything they got. So they're going to file for divorce, they're going to get that money, spend it, and two years later they're going to be on dating apps, moaning and complaining that they cannot find a good man. But anyway, this is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.